Purple is cute, but man, his voice gets annoying really quick. What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to this week's Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review of episode 67, titled The Lover of Light. Poipole spins round and round. Now, last week we saw an episode that featured Pokey Ping Pong, um, the, 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 the episode that's showing that Pokemon is actually the best sports anime, I think the best animation of the series so far. To me, my favorite part being the match Kiawe versus Lana where they both went for Z-move type uh, serves, but of course the main event was Alima going against this former champion who was a jerk to his Pokemon and eventually Alima getting through to him and winning with his Smeargle. Now, in today's episode, we were reintroduced to Poipole, who we had seen earlier in the series but only interacted with Pikachu. Today we get to see his adventure to eventually meeting the entire group. So before we jump into it, if you did check out this episode, make sure you let me know what your thoughts were, your favorite moment in the comments down below. Let me know if you have any different, different thoughts from the things that I have. Now this episode starts off over the ocean where we see a we, we see something floating off in the distance. Turns out that it is Poipole. Poipole is back and Poipole is just floating around just having fun. It seems like that, that's going to be a regular thing with Poipole. Poipole just likes to have fun and he notices a Chinchow floating in the water and he goes to attack it. Chinchow attacks back paralyzing Poipole and Poipole actually seems to enjoy this. Uh, he likes having the paralysis over him and that kind of makes sense being that he is, as the episode title said, the lover of light. You know, we know if you played the games where Poipole is from, we know all of that stuff. So it makes, it makes perfect sense. But at that time, Poipole is remembering his encounter with Pikachu. So it saw Ash and Pikachu fighting Buzzwole where Pikachu electrocuted Buzzwole and uh, we saw Poipole playing around with that electricity and Poipole seems to want to get back to it. Now Ash and Pikachu are running off towards the Pokemon school for the day and Poipole comes behind them and tries to distract Pikachu. Pikachu stops for a second, looks around, can't find anything so runs off to catch up to Ash. That's where the intro runs, and I'm not sure if this intro was different. I didn't take the time to go back and look, um, but I did notice a lot of Poi Pole in the intro, so maybe they've made another new intro and we're going into the Poi Pole chapter. It would make sense. As we said, this episode's titled The Lover of Light. Poi Pole spins round and round. The episode starts off with Sophocles giving a presentation at the school about photos that were taken at his observatory, the Hokulani Observatory, and says that they were taken by his cousin Molain. This is the first time that we've heard of Molain in the series, and Kukui explains that Molain is a really good trainer. Maybe giving some more hints as to what, what we talked about maybe last week about a future Elite Four? I don't know, I'm sure at some point we will meet Molain. But while everyone's sitting there watching Sophocles' presentation, Pikachu gets squirted in the eye with blue ink and turns around and sees that it's Poipole. So Pikachu goes running out away from Ash to try and catch Poipole. I guess at that point Pikachu knew that maybe something was special about Poipole so wanted to check it out. Lunchtime happened after class and Ash had brought in a burger that was shaped like a Pikachu. And everybody was talking about how cute it was. Ash goes to set out food for his Pokemon and that's where everybody notices that Pikachu's missing and they're looking around for Pikachu, can't seem to find him. Well Poipole had not intentionally, not seemingly not trying to sabotage anything but had taken Pikachu into the forest where they were playing around out there. Poipole is trying to get Pikachu to shock him. Uh, but I guess the way Poipole communicates, the way Pikachu communicates, they don't understand each other. Uh, because of course Pikachu didn't electrocute him. Uh, but they did share an apple together. Pikachu cut the apple in half with an iron tail and shared it between the two. Everybody's outside searching for Pikachu and Rowlet decides since he's the flyer, he's going to do what Pidgeotto used to do in the early days and go look for, go look for Pikachu in the air. It flashes over to where Team Rocket is set up and they're selling their donuts and the smell of the donuts distracts Rowlet and he charges straight towards Team Rocket's booth extremely quick and gets hit by a wood hammer from Mimikyu sending him flying higher in the air. He's so high in fact that he can see Pikachu and Poipole out in the jungle and starts to go to save Pikachu because he assumes Pikachu has been kidnapped. 
Now, as he approaches, Poipol gets scared and attacks Rowlet with a poison move, poisoning him. Rowlet's laying on the ground with obvious poison in his face. Pikachu runs over and tries to, you know, is trying to get him better, trying to make sure that he's okay. And Poipol comes up. I'm not sure if he still wanted to play or if he was just trying to get attention. And Pikachu ain't having it. Pikachu turned around, you could see the electricity building up. Pikachu was about to attack Poipol, and Poipol started to cry. And he, he, he had no idea, he, he didn't intend, from, from the looks of it, he didn't intend, intend on hurting anybody. So he goes over and actually picks up Rowlet and tells Pikachu to guide him for, to help. On their way, they run back past where Team Rocket was, and Mimikyu, of course, senses that Pikachu is around, and we see that Team Rocket is about to attack them. But Meowth notices that he can't understand the Poi Pulse talking. So that goes further to confirm that Poi Pulse talking is not actual Pokemon talking. Of course, we know that he's an Ultra Beast. Also, James doesn't see this Pokemon in his little guide book. So Team Rocket's very interested in figuring out what it is. Meowth is the first in the episode to point out that Poi Pulse is likely an Ultra Beast. So they at least remember what happened before. After the commercial, Poipo is still carrying Rowlet, but he's very tired. He's having trouble continuing on, and because Pikachu's just running ahead. Just Pika, 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 Pika. Pikachu's just running, and Poipo just can't keep up carrying Rowlet and collapses. This is where Team Rocket approaches them and goes through their intro. After their intro, though, Poipo is laughing at them, and the whole Team Rocket gets upset. They fi Meowth fires the cannon net or the capture net to catch them. And this is where Torcat and Lycanroc jump in and destroy it. And they, I mean, I mean, they destroyed the net. It was a cool little Ash saves the day. And this is where Ash meets Poipo for the first time. And off in the background, um, they kind of forgot about Rowlet who's currently dying. But this was the first time, aside from Rowlet, this is the first time that we've seen Team Rocket and Ash actually have a proper battle where they have multiple Pokemon fighting against multiple Pokemon. Um, and actually, Pikachu was going to be the one to finish them with a Thunderbolt. When's the last time we saw Pikachu finish Team Rocket with a Thunderbolt? I don't know. But Beware swoops in and saves off Team Rocket. They go flying away. And Poipo, staring at the electricity, and then it flashes back to the home. Now, back at home, Lily treats Rowlet, healing him back from his poison, and Poipo and Rowlet are dancing on the dancing on the counter, and they're all very happy. Rowlet is back to full health, and everybody's watching po Poipo and kind of giving their impressions of him, saying, what is this thing? What is he doing? He looks like he's having fun, etc., etc. And Ash picks him up, and Ash is holding him, you know, thanking him for helping save Rowlet, and... Poipole notices Ash's Z-Ring and picks up his Z-Ring off of his hand and is, is admiring the Z-Crystal because it's giving off light. Again, the lover of light. So he's holding the, 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 the Z-Ring and he's really liking it and Ash takes it back. He says, I'm sorry, I can't give this to you. This is special from me. Um, this is from Tyra. This is special to me. This is from Tapu Koko. I can't give it to you. And Poipole's face drops. He's like, it was, it was funny to see him do that. Poipo is a character. I, I quite enjoyed Poipo after this. At first, his voice was very, very annoying because it's all high pitched, but in the end, Poipo is extremely, extremely cute. Now, the group is down in their ultra. What, what's their name? The ultra. They're down in their base at the bottom of the school, and Lusamine calls them, and they had they talk about Poipo. They've come to the conclusion that it's an Ultra Beast, and they're going to name it Poipo. That's when they give the name of it, and Rotom is very excited because he's going to be the first to record data about this new Pokemon, and goes around taking pictures and all this stuff. Lusamine then asks Ash to be Poipo's partner until they can figure out where it came from to find the Ultra Wormhole so that they can send it back. And Ash goes to try and catch it, throws a Pokeball, you know, this is professional Ash, even, even back, backhand throws the Pokeball, and Poipo dodges out of the way. And Ash has a very, like, a very shocked face, because he's a Pokemon master after all. So Ash throws another one, and Poipo dodges it again. And then Ash just starts chunking Pokeballs all kinds of directions, everywhere, everywhere. And then he's all tired, because he's ran out of, he's ran out of balls. He's got one left. Now, I don't know, he probably could have just picked up any of the ones that hadn't hit Poipol to use again. But anyway, he has one left. 
But the group is like, maybe Poipol doesn't understand what's happening. Because Poipol is not used to Pokemon capturing. Um, so even though Poipol is okay with being in the family, Poipol doesn't understand he's supposed to go in the Pokeball. So they have this scene where Ash returns Rowlet to his Pokeball and throws Rowlet out. And returns Rowlet. And throws Rowlet. Returns Rowlet. Throws Rowlet. Returns Rowlet. Oh, over, 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 over. And eventually Poipol sees how fun it is and Poipol just runs straight up to Ash. And, you know, Ash is holding the ball. Poipol hits the ball and goes inside the Pokeball. The ball shakes. Two, three, boom. Ash captures Poipol. Now this is the first time, are we considering the Ultra Beast legendary Pokemon? Because in this series alone, Ash has captured two. He's had the Solgaleo Nebi um, in a Pokeball, I think, I'm pretty sure. And now he's captured Poipol. It's gonna be very interesting to see what they do from here. But of course, after they capture Poipol, he lets himself out. Um, back at home that night, all the Pokemon are playing with Poipol because this is their first time that they've gotten to interact, but especially Pikachu and Rowlet because they're all about the same size. At the end of the episode, after Poipol is, you know, rubbing his face against Pikachu's one last time, he draws a picture of Pikachu with ink on the wall. And Poipol obviously likes Pikachu. I'm assuming for the electricity, for the light. I really, really like Poipol. That was the entire episode. So again, it's going to be interesting to see where they go from here. Will we eventually see Poipol evolve in the series? If you didn't know, that was spoilers. Poipol might evolve. But that would be insanely awesome. How long will he be around? Will it just be an Ultra Recon series that we're about to go through? I don't know, but I don't think they're in too much of a rush to develop through it because just next week, next week's preview, we see that Nurse Joy is sick and all the kids are filling in for her. And Ash is going to wind up treating a Team Rocket and a Team Skull Pokemon. I wonder what the uh, I wonder what the atmosphere is going to be like at that point. But that was the episode. Again, if you checked out the episode, let me know what you thought down below. I really enjoyed the episode. It wasn't exactly super story related, but we got to see Ash capture Poipol. We got to see them down in their ultra whatever their base, whatever their team name is. We got to see Lusamine, Burnett, and all of, and Wiki again. And that was that. We will see you next week for the episode where Nurse Joy is sick. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.